first goal at Patagonia was to make a great wetsuit for freezing conditions. Until you have a wetsuit that, that performs well uh, in really cold conditions, I don't think, you know, I don't think you really have anything. Our goal from the get-go has been to pick materials and develop materials that are light and flexible and also last. Here at Patagonia, fabric liners and insulations is kind of kind of a bread and butter, and we knew we could take it further. We've taken the R1 green grid arms and in parts of the legs to increase flexibility without compromising warmth. We added liquid tape to the outside seam throughout the entire range, so we've eliminated leaking on all the suits. It's really important to have a wetsuit for every water temperature, you know. Um, we, we really enjoy exploring and going to places in the far north and south, but we also want to be really comfortable in the wetsuit we wear at home. I wear a wetsuit year-round here and I pretty much live in the thing, so for me durability is a, a huge deal. The ambassador feedback is really key to the development of, of all Patagonia products. Now I'm looking at coming from a place that's super warm and I'm going to a place that's super cold and I need something that I can feel comfortable in right away. I need it to be flexible, I need it to be warm, and that's what's so great about the R3. Our team spends months and years developing suits for really cold water and places like this. It's kind of a make or break deal if your wetsuit's not working. You're not surfing. People expect a ton from Patagonia. After we put something out and sell it, if it doesn't work, we hear about it really quickly. So the development process is, is not only driven by the designers and ambassadors, but it's, it's driven by the people buying the gear. The bottom line is when you're making really technical gear like a wet too, you're making it so that you can continue to do what you want to do and surf all day and not really have to think about your wetsuit.